I think you've been on. I think you've been visiting the brewery here. Yeah. This is Pavlos's game. Uh, Real Madrid at minus five fifty. <laughs> Elche at plus thirteen hundred. Um, Elche at plus two at minus one hundred five, and then Real Madrid. To, that means Real Madrid have got to score three, and Elche not reply for him to get at least a push. Team total of Elche scoring is plus one one five. So the way to look at this, Pavlos, is the draw at plus 650 is redundant. Let's throw that in the bin. Real Madrid probably win the game. But we were saying last week, we, can we trust Real Madrid to score three? Which means, obviously, then Elche's a push. Uh, and are we not better off going with Elche to score at plus 115 rather than maybe Elche plus two at minus 105? Uh, for whatever reason, maybe... Uh, because, you know, Real Madrid are playing in the, uh, what is it now? Uh, Morocco for the Club World Cup. Yeah. So that's an extra... That, that, <laughs> I can't believe how they're tearing this sport apart, man. Because, you know, they already cut the season in half to do the World Cup. Yes, okay, yes. everything's fancy, blah, blah, blah. So now after they return from that, uh, which really destroyed their regime, their, their training regime, their, um, you know, everything that they, these players... Are machines okay they're they're used to very specific conditions they train in the summer then they go uh you know for a uh, for you know for uh, recuperation and then they start the season which they know it's gonna last that long so they're trained they've been training their bodies for their entire lives to specific conditions and since the pandemic hit since the pandemic hit back, back in 2020 this flow was interrupted so in the first couple of seasons uh, after that the pandemic we saw very weird uh, results, players getting injured and stuff like that. But when they're starting to, you know, turn back to normal with normal regimes and normal, you know, training schedule and all that stuff, the World Cup happens and cuts their season in half. And after that, they now have to cut their season in half again and go to Morocco to play two meaningless matches just for money. I'm, I'm won't, I won't get into that uh, a lot, but the the reason why one of the reasons why I picked Elche is the fact that Real Madrid will have to travel back and forth to Morocco. Yes, it's not a big uh, trip, but still, uh, there's two extra matches and extra fatigue that they didn't really need. And uh, Elche, don't look now and uh, take the the reverse fixture uh, with a grain of salt. They lost three to nil to Real Madrid, and Real had like five disallowed goals in that match. But traditionally, in the last six matches, they don't lose easily. Last season, they had a um, a draw and a, and a loss by one goal uh, in the league and a goalless draw in the Copa del Rey. The season before that, they lost by one goal and then they held the Real Madrid to a draw. So, I'm not so sure what the, the extra fatigue is going to do to the Real Madrid players. Uh, Elche are fighting for their lives right now. Uh, they've grabbed uh, five points in the last four matches. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they somehow grinded a result like a nil-nil or a, a one nil loss, a two nil loss at worst. So I'm buying three results. I'm buying Elche to win uh, the draw, uh, Elche to lose by one, and the safety of Elche to lose by two goals. I, I'm bets. all in for that. I'm taking. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm taking that. four bets. I yeah. tell you what, M Mitch has uh, made a statement that Mitch. I know that you know the time of day. You have gone right out on a limb because you've gone with Real Madrid minus two and a half at plus one fifty one. Now I know the numbers big. When Real Madrid have got to score free after coming back from travelling around the world, it's like unbelievable. Uh, Roman, you're not listen. You're not Real Madrid at the best of times when they're absolutely flying and the best team ever. But Elche, do they score at plus one one five? Yeah, yeah, that's that's a possibility. Yes, easily. Yeah, it could happen. Uh, the only sad thing maybe for Edge is that the guy who scored the hat-trick uh, against the Villarreal the other day, he got injured that same game and he's going to be out for a couple of months. So, I mean, they're not going to have him available and he would that would have definitely uh, given them a lot of help in that uh, goal-scoring aspect. Could they score? Yes. Uh, but honestly, what I do see is if in Madrid win, it will probably be a very short result. I don't think it's going to be more than a 2-0, 2-1, something like that. You, you see, I don't think Madrid are going to come here uh, and scoring goals. Also, Vinicius is suspended for this match, and he tends to play better at home because we've seen how away from the, from the Bernabeu he, he easily uh, loses concentration, starts complaining to the referees, uh, talking to opponents, and his mind just goes elsewhere and doesn't really perform as well as he does 
at home. So uh, big miss, of course, because we saw Benitez the other day in this uh, previous game, sorry, from the uh, World Cup, FIFA World Cup for clubs, uh, where he had a really good game. He scored a goal. He was shining there, and I think that could have maybe he could have kept up that momentum. But of course, not having him is, is a bit of a setback. And we we'll have to see if Courtois is also available because he he hasn't played uh, these last few games in the sorry, well, the last game sorry in the FIFA uh, Club World Cup. But aside from that, I think Madrid should be capable of getting a win. But I I don't see them getting a big win, and I just can't really say 100% that uh, Elche would score. You know, there is a possibility, of course, because Madrid are going through this. Uh, bad streak we could say where they're really struggling to get uh, the results they need but I mean it is still risky to to trust Elche too much yeah I mean it is one of those where we're actually talking about Madrid and can we trust them I mean Mitch has gone completely bonkers and saying that Madrid score four I'm not sure because they normally they just take their foot off the gas when they get to one or two okay let's have a little look at the official pick and then we'll have a look at all the picks uh, Elche plus two at minus 105 so you've got to get beat by three to not get a push but as you say you've got four angles covered you get a push if they get beat by two yep. you win if they get beat by one you win if they draw and you win obviously if they win stating the obvious uh, okay uh, TS Live saying first half Elche to score or nil nil draw so maybe you're getting plus one Elche uh, in the first half as well. Maybe that's the way to go if Real Madrid have uh, got a little bit of lead in their legs after they're travelling. And remember, they're not at full strength either. So maybe that's the way to go. Elche plus one in the first half. Uh, 